in the kitchen now with a personal chef. Uh, chef. This is Linda Ott uh, from the Fox Valley, and uh, we're excited because I know this is a very hot new trend on the East Coast, West Coast, and now um, here in our area as well. That's right. Good That's morning. Fine. Good to see you. Thank you. So we were talking earlier. I was talking earlier about so many of my friends who say, "I, how do you do it? How in the world do you, you know, get dinner on the table?" And for me, that's also something that I really enjoy doing. But mm -hmm. some people just that's not their bag. They that's don't right. like to cook. They don't want to cook, and you know, they they just and find themselves eating out a lot. Um, exactly. And that's where you come in. So tell us about what you do. Right. Well, I would come in and meet with the family and get an idea of what kind of diet they might uh, desire, uh, likes, dislikes, allergies, any health issues, and then custom design a menu just for that family. Um, I do all the shopping and I show up and cook in their kitchen, bring all of my own equipment. So uh, they basically come home to a refrigerator full of labeled foods that they can eat over the next five days if they're going to eat them right away or put put them right in the freezer so they can pull it out. So when you arrive at nine o'clock, you can tuck it in the microwave, heat it up, and it's ready to go. And it's Yum. fresh food, no preservatives. That sounds great. All right, we're gonna get to work on one of the recipes and we'll talk more a little uh, about what you do. So a little olive oil, this is a chicken and bow tie, uh, again, another big skillet recipe. So olive oil into our pan, a nice big hot pan. We've got some garlic. Right. That's just for about 30 seconds. Okay, yep. Don't want to end up pan with smoking hot, so I don't want to burn yep. the garlic. <laughs> Boneless, skinless chicken breast in here that we've just sliced into little pieces. That's another quick tip. Cut it into little pieces. It's going to cook quicker, right? That's great. And then I'm just going to kind of spread it around. So, Linda, um, I think people will think that I could never afford a personal chef. There's no way. Um, you know, talk, let's talk about that, the price and, and how it actually is affordable. Sure, sure. Well, if you would consider how many nice outfits you're eating uh, in a restaurant, that probably, uh, not to mention the calories, are, are going to add up as well. Um, the time that you'll save, uh, you know, grocery shopping, planning the menu, cleaning up your kitchen, uh, it, it comes in a single package, so all you have is one dish to clean up at the, the end of the night, and uh, a lot of families find that they, they don't have time to uh, research special diets that they might like to try, so it just, it's a real time-saving uh, benefit, and there's no waste. Now, how many times do you buy a big package of organic lettuce, and uh, three days later you're throwing it out because it's brown because you haven't eaten it? Right, very true. Um, what, what are kind of like an average family that you cook for, and, and some of the meals that you cook mm -hmm. for them? Um, it runs a variety. I, I do a lot of... Uh, comfort food this time of year in particular with it being winter. Sure. Um, in the summer a lot more healthy uh, salad and quick, um, quick dinner items. Right, right. Um, pretty much 99% of the clientele are looking to either lose weight or maintain a healthy weight, so uh, I do a lot of research on, on healthy recipes. And what are some of the results? What are some of your families that you cook for? What do they say? Oh, well, I have one client, my poster child in Appleton. Uh, he was basically on deathbed. He lost 188 pounds. Wow. When I started cooking for him, he was on oxygen. He's now mall walking without an oxygen tank. Wow. So, like I said, he's my poster child. We're proud of, of the work that he's put and in. And he, he didn't just have to eat rice cakes, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> no rice cakes. <laughs> Nothing processed, all uh, fresh food. Wow, that's, that's a really a great story. Wow. Okay, so get back to our chicken dish. We're browning up the chicken. We just want to get to, we want to cook it through pretty much? Yep, get okay. rid of the paint, and then okay. we're going to start adding the, the other items because they're basically you're just heating them up at that point. So we're just um, about there. What okay. is on average the cost for, you know, a, a personal chef for the week? And do you normally do it for the week or can people say, well, come one week and then, you know, do five meals because, you know, we'll put some in the freezer, sure, that type of thing. Sure. And a lot of it depends on the family size and how, how quickly they're going to eat the food. Sure. Um, most of my clientele is a monthly okay. basis. So I come and depending on if there's two in the family, then they're going to end up with a lot more meals than if it's a family of four. Sure, so sure. I generally prepare five entrees. Um, and then most of them like a dessert of some sort, whether yeah. it's cookies or brownies or cobbler or um, a grab and go breakfast muffin, something that's healthy. Sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. our chicken is nice and brown and, yep. and getting cooked. So now we're going to add. Let's add some chicken stock. Okay. This is just going to give us some liquid in the pan. Yeah. Kind of deglaze uh, the pan. You okay. bet. Okay. Sun dried tomatoes. Mm, I love those. Nice color, up. great flavor. Just about a teaspoon of basil. Okay. And we're just going to let that cook for a couple of minutes. 
and uh, you want the stock to, to reduce down just a little bit. Okay. Now we went ahead, uh, we cooked up some bow tie pasta, mm -hmm. uh, cooked it al dente, and uh, so that's something that you can do, you know, um, have that going while the chicken's going that's here. That's right. And at home, again, you're going to let this reduce down, but for our purposes, would you, is it time to add this? or we're gonna Let's add, add a little bit of wine here. We're going to okay. add about a quarter cup of white wine. Okay. And th that's an ingredient that you can, can live without. But it adds great flavor without adding a lot of fat and calories. That's you know, right. now here, we're doing this. the calories. <laughs> yeah, and again, but that's optional. You could that's always right. leave that out, and that's a uh, little dab will do you. You know, I talk to my chef friends all the time, and that's just a that's great right. way to finish a dish. Exactly. Is just a little bit of cream to kind of bring this whole sauce right. together. Um, and but again, you could to totally leave it out. That's right. All right. Now so we're going to add the pasta. pasta. Sure. <laughs> There we go. Mm -hmm. Then we're just going to pop the cover on and just let the sauce uh, absorb into the noodles and um, it gets nice and thick and rich. And it makes a nice big batch too. That's it right. really does. Might this have is some four leftovers. servings, but yeah, yeah, depending on, you know, my kids love the pasta, so that uh, I always cook extra pasta. And then a nice salad with this and maybe That's some bread right. and you've got a great meal. That's so right. for people who are at home wondering how to get a hold of you or mm -hmm. finding more about personal chefs, uh, how does that sure. work? Well, um, probably the easiest way is to give me a call. Okay. And uh, I do have a website as well. I'm on Facebook and all those social media channels. But um, call me and, and the first step is really to um, go through their personal um, menu uh, selection. So I have about a 10-page questionnaire that they fill out. So I really get to know the family and sure. their likes and dislikes. Sure, yeah. And then we meet and we um, meet right at their house and I tour the kitchen and, and just kind of um, solidify what, what they're looking for. For. Do the kids get involved too? Do they I, say, Linda, I, I really like this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of moms call and say, I want my kids to eat more vegetables. Mm -hmm. Can you magically hide those vegetables? And right. as you said before, chop, chop them finer, put them in the blender, <laughs> and grind right. them up nice and small. But right, um, right. it's helpful to have the kids involved and in, uh, choosing the menu items. Um, I have some families that um, actually we started the grocery store and we, we grocery shop oh, together. That's cool. And then the kids uh, help in the preparation. Oh, that's so really Pretty neat. flexible service. And I'm a big believer, my saying is magic happens at the dinner table. I believe it. Uh, I think that we don't have family dinners enough. And even if you don't cook it, if a personal chef cooks it, at least you're gathering on the table. That's if right. Even if you're having takeout pizza and you're sharing it together uh, with a salad, um, you know, that can be magical. That's so right. thanks that's so much. Right. Linda's going to stick around. What are we making next time? We're going to make some sesame chicken. Okay, mm -hmm. good deal. Sounds delicious. We'll be back. Stay with us.